Hello everyone, and welcome to this fascinating video. Today we'll be exploring the life and legacy of Lewis Mountbatten, a prominent British statesman, naval officer, and member of the royal family. We'll delve into his remarkable achievements, as well as the controversies and challenges that marked his existence. So, without further ado, let's dive right in and uncover the captivating story of this extraordinary figure in British history. Louis Mountbatten, christened Louis Francis Albert Victor Nicholas, stands as an eminent figure in British history, a distinguished statesman, an accomplished naval officer, and an esteemed royal family member. His birth on June 25, 1900, in Windsor, England, marked him as a great-grandson of Queen Victoria, the final Viceroy of India, and the Premier Governor-General of an autonomous India. A dogged pursuit of honor and duty, punctuated by controversy, characterized Mountbatten's existence. Luxury and regality pervaded Mountbatten's formative years. He was the youngest offspring of Prince Louis of Battenberg and Princess Victoria of Hessen by Rhine. Homeschooled, he followed family footsteps, joining the Royal Navy at a tender 13. Displaying a remarkable naval acumen, he climbed the ranks, earning a reputation as an audacious, inventive officer. Amidst the throes of World War II, Mountbatten's service shone with distinction. In various vital positions, including Chief of Combined Operations, he masterminded and executed amphibious assaults on a Europe under occupation. The 1942 Street Nazaire raid, a triumphant feat against the German-occupied port, resulted in Mountbatten receiving the esteemed Distinguished Service Order. 1943 witnessed Mountbatten's appointment as Supreme Allied Commander of the Southeast Asia Command. Here he orchestrated the strategic vanquishing of Japanese forces in Burma, a pivotal contribution to the British war effort. Mountbatten's tactical brilliance and leadership prowess propelled him to hero status. Post-war, Mountbatten assumed the mantle of India's last viceroy, supervising the transition to independence. He grappled with immense challenges, including religious and ethnic chasms threatening India's unity. Navigating such obstacles, he ensured a peaceful power transfer, though the violent, disorderly aftermath of India's partition into Pakistan ensued. As India's inaugural Governor-General, Mountbatten forged a strong bond with Jawaharlal Nehru, the nation's first Prime Minister. Zealously, he laid a novel political and administrative foundation amidst the challenges posed by a vast, diverse populace. Mountbatten returned to the United Kingdom in 1948, recommencing his naval trajectory and eventually ascending to Admiral of the Fleet. Simultaneously, he served as Chief of the Defense Staff, advocating for global collaboration and a unified European defense force. Royal family ties remained strong, and he significantly influenced his great-nephew, Prince Charles. Controversy, however, plagued Mountbatten. Critics chastised his aristocratic demeanor, and scandalous allegations of extramarital affairs arose. Nevertheless, his legacy as a steadfast public servant, resolute in the quest for peace, endures. Tragically, on August 27, 1979, an Irish Republican Army IRA bomb detonated aboard Mountbatten's fishing vessel, claiming his life and three others. This brutal assassination reverberated throughout the United Kingdom, casting a shadow over the nation's protracted battle with terrorism. Amidst adversities and controversy, Lewis Mountbatten's legacy stands as an unyielding testament to duty, honor, and service. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through the life and legacy of Lewis Mountbatten. We hope you found this video insightful and engaging, and that it has deepened your understanding of this complex and intriguing historical figure. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing for more captivating content. As always, we appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, take care.